Here's a riddle for you. What do Midnight Skies hate more than having to wear sunglasses because they're suddenly stuck on days? Having to reshine the boots that turn green or brown while they were on Midnight's. All right, man, take a seat. Quick look. Ordinarily, we'd start with uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending, and we got to get to them. So, we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today, I... So if you were in the service in the 80s or 90s, and you know a lot about shining boots, making them look all bright and shiny and spit-shined, you may want to shut this off before I severely upset you. Now where I'm at, we're not setting real high standards with uh, boot shininess. As you can see, I've been on midnights for a while, and mine are starting to turn all sorts of shades of brown and green and stuff. The basic idea for me, generally, when I'm on midnights, is to keep them somewhere near the shade of black. However, when I have to go to day shift, it's time to shine the things up. Now, I'm not saying in the least bit that I'm an expert on shining boots. There's plenty of other people that are out there that are much better at it than me. But I'm going to show you how to make yours passable. The uh, first step to shining boots is pulling the laces out of them so that way you can get down inside and get the polish all down inside the nooks and crannies of it so you protect all of the leather and not just the stuff that's on the outside that isn't covered by something else. For the sake of efficiency, I'll just do that off camera. So here's my boot, Sans Laces. As you can see, it's, uh, it's getting pretty rough. These are a couple of years old. Still serviceable, but getting a little rough. So. In order to protect the leather, to keep it from getting any worse than it already is, and the reason it hasn't already gotten worse than it is, you just buy a little shoe polish. The stuff's pretty cheap. You get it just about anywhere. Again, most of my stuff comes from Walgreens at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's where this came from. And we get just a rag that we've used to apply shoe polish before. Use the same one because this one's going to get messy. And we slather a whole bunch of polish on this bad boy. Put it in every little nook and cranny we can get it into. For me, it's less about the shoe looking well, looking good, and more about it lasting longer. These things are really expensive. You go buy duty boots, maybe a couple hundred dollars every time you buy them. You don't ever put any shoe polish on them. You don't ever protect the leather. They're going to get really rough really fast. We're going to get all the nooks and crannies, and then down here, underneath where the laces would normally be at. Slather that stuff on anything that used to be cow. I like to do it when the polish is warm. Leave it out in the sun a little bit. If it's summertime, because it warms it up and it allows it to melt a little bit before you apply the polish, and it gets deeper down in all the little stitching a little bit better when I apply it to my boots. Helps maintain the boots a little bit better. Once you get all the polish on it, you just go through with a nice brush, Kiwi makes a brush, the same place that does the polish. They sell it at Walgreens at 3 a.m. also. And you just kind of give it a nice soft brush down that evens out the polish, gets it into all the further nooks and crannies that you couldn't slather it from the front. It makes it look presentable again. As a comparison, here's the old boot to the new boot. Now here's the part that's going to piss some people off. Generally when I'm on midnights or I'm working somewhere where no one's really going to see me, this is as far as I go. I like to keep the bright and shinies off of my uniform as much as I can. And this is all I really need to protect it and to make it look uniform and make it look black. Now if you're going to day shift. Now heaven forbid you're going to a day shift assignment, you're going to want a cloth. Sometimes I just use a t-shirt, but this is a purpose-built cloth four shining boots. You just lightly rub it across the toe and it brings out a little more shine. You can also get nylons. Nylons put a really nice shine on boots. I never really get that far into it. But this buffs out all little imperfections on the boot. You just do that all the way around. You see it gets a little shinier. You can always put the toe over the end of the table, get a little deeper into the buff. A little more shine on the edge of the boot. Corner works well too. 
I'll just get a little further down the boot. This is the part people are going to see, though. So, you know, just like ironing a shirt, we're going to polish the part of the boot that everybody sees that the boss is looking at. So it should come as no surprise that I'm not here preaching a new super high uniform standard in the field of public safety and law enforcement in general, but your boots do need to be some semblance of the color black. If they're not, you have a couple of issues. One is that the brass is going to get on you about the fact that you're not in uniform. Two is that your stuff isn't going to last as long. These are actually discontinued Danner GTXs that I've had for two and a half years now and still look pretty good and other than the sole starting to wear out, don't need to be replaced. And the reason for that is I keep slathering shoe polish on them every month. And three, if you look like a mope, if your stuff's turning brown and all sorts of different weird colors that it's not supposed to be, people on the street are going to notice and they're going to be more likely to challenge you because they assume you don't know what you're doing. You can't even keep your boots looking clean. How are you going to, how do they assume that you are going to be out practicing your skills and that you're going to know what you're doing. People are more likely to challenge you, more likely to challenge you, you're more likely to get into a fight, you're more likely to get into a fight, you're more likely to get your butt kicked. That's just the mathematics of it. That's statistics. So keep your stuff looking good. I know that this isn't the perfect system. Everybody down below, uh, throw your comments and questions if you have any. Uh, all the angry veterans who are going to be pissed off about this because I didn't do it right according to their standards, throw those comments down there too. I don't know how to shine boots to the point where they're ultra shiny where you can see your face in them. I'm not going to lie. That's not my thing. That's not the type of place that I work. If you do have uh, some tricks and tips for people that do work in those places, throw them down below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You guys stay safe out there, and we will see you next week. Well, if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I uh, finish up these calls, go 10-8. County 291. Sewing in the boot. I like to use, I like to do my polishing when, I like to use my, riddle for you, what did midnight guys hate more than having to wear sunglasses because they're suddenly on day shift? Having to reshine the boons, boots that have...